Hey guys, Loot Ultra Studios here. Today I am reviewing the Halo Infinite building box. So before we get into the custom build that I made with this builder box, I just wanted to show you the box of the builder box. And it is really strange. Here, let me get it to... So it has this like brick here and it kind of just locks in place there. And it's like a little folding up thing. I'm gonna get the brick out of there to show you guys what it is. I don't think I've ever seen this type of brick before. So it's a two by four, but it has like these weird things under it that like attach to the cardboard of the box. So that's a really cool, neat piece. And now let's get on to my custom build that I made with the builder box. So for the figures, I'm gonna show you the two figures that come in the set. First up is a blue EVA, who looks very good in this type of armor. And so there are a lot of weapons. I just put an energy sword in his hand. And then the second figure is a red Gunganeer. I think that's how you pronounce it. And he looks really cool. Uh, I just gave him a rocket launcher. He has some paint applications on his torso with the knife and the little ammo pelt or ammo pat patch or something. And my figure came with a little problem in his hand where it won't actually go in to his harm. Yeah, and it just is really annoying. I'm gonna have to call customer service on this. If you know a way to fix like these type of hand problems, uh, leave it down in the comments because this is really annoying. All right, let's get on to so my- So in the instructions, they give you instructions to build this little mongoose. So this is the first thing I built. I honestly think I like this better than the Halo Infinite mongoose that comes with the four figures because it looks like an original Halo 3 Warthog, or I mean Mongoose. And it just fits the, be the driver's hands better on the like steering wheel area. Unfortunately, there is no suspension on it, but it looks really cool. And so I built this little sand type of like battle area with some of the pieces. And I just built this entire thing with all the pieces um, here's the back of it. There's a, this little energy thing, which is really cool. So you just pop that off. It's a hard plastic. And there's this gummy type plastic with this, um, one by two with a hole in it. that you just stick there and then... Yeah, it's a really cool piece. I haven't gotten this type of piece before. And I really like it. And then there's this crate over here. That contains two muzzle flares because I didn't put it on the figures and two grenades. I really like how they included these two muzzle flares. These are really helpful when building mocks. And so I'm trying to get it to focus here. You can take them off. And so I don't really have an assault rifle with me, but these can attach onto it to make it look like it's actually firing. I think I'm gonna do some stop motions with these. These are really helpful. Next up, let's get to the base. So I built these only, this base and everything else, only using the pieces that come in the set. And so let's start up here on the roof. So there's this little type of satellite thing up here. And then there's a nice roof. There is a turret in there that a figure can attach to. It can go up and down and it can swivel. And then there's this little blocking area so that you don't have to get shot by everything. And there's this like rocket launcher pad thing that can go up, it can swivel. Yeah, and it's just a really cool little rocket thing. There's the rest up here. All right, now let's get down here. Down in the base, there is control pad, 
a like screen right there. There's this little canister thing, an armory area, and a fusion coil, I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. Let's get the armory things out. This set comes with so many weapons. It's really cool. There. So, I just put them on these little stands. There's a Halo 5-4 tactical shotgun, bulldog shotgun, a SMG, the new Halo Infinite pistol, the assault rifle, and I'm not sure what this is called, but I think it's from Halo 5. And then it comes with um, the shock rifle, I think it's what it's called. And then the rocket launcher that I had on the other figures. And this blue energy sword. I am so happy with the amount of weapons you get. It's just crazy. Um, Mega has been really generous with the amount of stuff they're putting in their sets. Unlike Lego. And I just want to show you how many uh, pieces were left after I built this base. Look how many there are here. That's a lot of pieces. Um, I didn't really use them anywhere. I just had them. And that's a lot of pieces. Like, if you were to build the little base that they included in the instructions, you would have a lot of pieces left over. And I think if I see this at, like, Target or Walmart, I might pick it up again for like another type of mock thing. And I really like this set. One con do, that I do have is that again with the hand that is like broken type. Here, let me get to focus. It's a beautiful figure, just like, I hate this when that happens. I've tried replacing the hand, but it doesn't seem to work. So I'm gonna have to call customer service to get this fixed. Yeah, so that stinks, but I love how it includes two muzzle flares. Here, let me get it on one of the guns to show you how it works. So you just, there's a little peg inside or a little hole. It's not focusing really well. There. And you just put it in the assault rifle. Looks like it's shooting, which is really cool. So yeah, there is my review of the Halo Infinite Builder Box. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you want, like, another review of something. Oh yeah, also I pre-ordered my Halo Infinite Pelican. And I'm super excited to get it. It's coming November 4th, which kind of stinks, but at least I got it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye, guys.